<laughs> hey kids, I'm Johnny. And I'm Farm Boy, yay! And this is Almost, Almost Kids! Yay! Um, so what are you what are you doing? Gabe? I, who? Uh, I don't know any Gabe. I'm Farm Boy! Yay! And I okay. and I can talk to animals! You're, Here's my sidekick! Make nugget! Your sidekick. You're you're a superhero. Yes! A superhero okay, so... for justice who says nay to evildoers. So you're about to fight someone and what do you, how do you get, you just talk to animals instead? With or? my farm boy powers, I send the chicken to get him and I punch stuff. Okay, well farm boy, uh, your, your, your head is, is coming. My head, I'm bowling. You're, okay. Yeah. And I'm growing old, see? You can tell my, my skin is getting quite discolored. So, Mr. Farm Boy, Mr. Not Gabe. No, not Gabe, I'm Farm Boy. What, what made you, why are you a superhero? What made you want to be a superhero? So I can help God in the fight for justice. And, and. And freedom. And the and, best uh, way is, is talking to, well, I'm still a superhero, like Aquaman. It's Spider-Man, he talks to spiders, right? Yeah, I mean, well... Or, like, you, you, know, you don't You don't have to be a superhero, though. What? Really? Yeah, like, like you, you don't have to be... It's not just... You're not messing with me, are you? No. No? Good boy. Um... Uh, Wait, but... I thought I had to be a superhero. <laughs> but uh, it's kind of... Ah. All right, here's my secret identity. It was me, Gabe. You didn't know that, did Gabe. you? Gabe! <laughs> I tricked you got, got us. Yeah. But really, I don't have to be a superhero to help God? Uh, no, 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 no. Like, anyone can. Anyone? Anyone. So anyone wearing this mask? No. And their partner in crime, McChicken? No. No. No, not that, Not even with Diet Cokes. Not even with diet. Not even, okay, I'm kind of confused. But you said you had a story, or you yeah, said... there is a you know there is a story. I could tell you a story, maybe clear things up a little bit. Please, you know how much this mask cost me? Not much. I found it in the trash. Oh, oh, that, did you clean it? Did you wash it first? Uh, so continue on with the story. Okay, so the story. Uh, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Oh, okay. Story is about Jesus and his homies, the disciples. Wow, that sounds like a cool superhero group, like the Avengers, yeah, yeah, or the yeah. X Men. Well, they were, or they the, were a cool group. Or the Avengers East Coast. They were pretty. Or the super. Avengers West Coast. Or the Justice too. League. Or the League of Incredible Justice People. I think I made that one up. Yeah, I mean the Teen Titans. I just remembered another one. They were definitely the Jedi Council. Okay. No, those aren't superheroes. Uh, the Fantastic Four. The Outriders? No, I don't think that counts. The Green Lanterns. So the Yellow Lanterns. Oh wait, mm -hmm. I don't know if that counts. I already yeah. said Green Lanterns. They're bad guys. Uh, so Jesus and his disciples. They are a pretty cool group. They're a pretty cool group. Like the. Um, they're not. I said that one. Superheroes like you would normally think of. Oh, okay. okay. They are a pretty super group. Oh, and they like are the heroes defenders. of our faith. Oh, like Bible Man. Yeah, I mean, they didn't necessarily use, you know, lightsabers or anything like that. Oh, but, they didn't use nicknames? Um, well, some of them probably had nicknames, but you know, they, they just, they were them. Oh, they okay. were just themselves. They were just themselves. No secret identities, no... Masks, no, no secret identities, no chicken. No, no chicken, chicken no here. speaking to farm animals. Um, it's a cool power, Johnny. It's great. Love it. Love love the idea. Yeah, it's just like yeah. Aquaman and Batman and yeah. Spider-Man. Yeah, ba Batman? Yeah, he talks to bats, doesn't he? Uh, I feel like I'm getting mixed up. I, yeah, I don't think... Yeah, Aquaman's a good one. Uh -huh. But I don't think the other two... Not, no, okay. no, yeah, yeah. Okay. Ant-Man He does he talk to ants. He oh. does. What else does he do? Just ants? You know, he grows in trees. But you know what? Let's get Jesus and his disciples, Jesus right? Jesus and his disciples. They... Yes. 
they were super, they were awesome, heroes of our faith. I mean, Jesus is this, our savior. Uh -huh. We know everything amazing that he did for us. Yeah. Right. But this is a time right before Jesus' death. He has just told his disciples that he's not gonna be around, that they're gonna take over, they're gonna take charge basically. Okay. And they're kind of scared. That sounds pretty scary. I mean, it's like, it's like me, farm boy or whoever farm boy is, uh, Whoever he take, may be. He has to take care of the whole country instead of just a regular yeah. piece of farmland. Yeah, yeah, no, they're scared because they're like, but Jesus, you're the one doing all these awesome and incredible things. And like, what are we, get? how are we going to do this? And you know, Jesus tells them that he's going to leave them the Holy Spirit. Is that a gun? No, the Holy Spirit is Jesus' spirit. It's God's oh, spirit. Oh, okay. That gives them superpowers. It gives them power. power. Maybe not superpowers in the way you would think of. Uh -huh. um, they're not gonna go start flying and like shooting laser beams or anything like that. But he did say they would be doing greater things than he did. Oh, okay, that sounds so, pretty great. Healing people, bringing people back from the dead. Oh. Um, opening blind eyes. Oh, talking to horses. You know, at some point in the Bible, someone does talk to a donkey. I will, I'll give you that. There, someone see, does. It's on the list. It's not one of them, uh -huh. but someone does talk to a donkey. Okay. And yeah, but he said they're gonna do all these greater things. They were gonna be able to prophesy over people, meaning they're gonna be able to tell people what they've been feeling and thinking and encourage them. They were gonna be able to do just so many incredible things. They were gonna be able to speak in other languages that they didn't know before. Like horse and chicken. Yeah. Or Spanish. More like, like, yeah, like say I didn't know Spanish and I went before a group of people and I just suddenly knew how to speak Spanish. And I was oh. talking to them in Spanish. Oh, okay. So he gave them incredible power. Oh, okay. I get it. His power. It's not their power. They don't have superpowers. So I want to make that clear. They don't have superpowers. Okay. But because Jesus left his Holy Spirit, we're empowered by his power. Oh, so Jesus wasn't bit by a radioactive horse? No, Jesus is God. Oh. Because Jesus is God and the Father is God and the Holy Spirit is God. With the Holy Spirit, we have God with us. And because God is with us, he can use his power through us to do incredible things so other people can know about him. Huh. So anyone? Anyone. anyone can. So you're telling me anyone can do great things for God? Anyone, and that's the big idea. It is? That's it, right there, that anyone, you don't have to be a superhero like Spider-Man or Batman or Farm Boy. Yes. No, I should've said Farm Man. Farm Man, to do great things for God. You can just know that Jesus left his Holy Spirit with us and that we have God with us at all times. And okay. because of that, we can do great things for God. <laughs> That sounds great. So you're telling me I didn't need to wear a mask that I found in the trash? I mean, in the store? Yeah, uh, no. At no point should anyone wear a mask that you found in a trash. Don't. Or store. Or store. Don't. Don't do it. Don't Please. do it. This is a safety warning. Don't do it. it it's not healthy. It's not. Um, and you don't need it because God can use you no matter what or who you are or what you've been through or what's going on in your life. You know what? That sounds amazing. You know what I need to empower myself? What do you need? The verse. The verse, the memory verse. It's in 2 Timothy 1, 7. All right, get ready. And it says, the spirit God gave us does not make us afraid. His spirit is a source of power and love and self-control. My turn to say it. 2 Timothy 1, 7. The spirit God gave us does not make us afraid. His spirit is a source of power, love, and self-control. Boom, such a great verse. Such a great verse. Second Timothy 1, 7. Put that in your memory. Put it it's in gonna there. help you. It is. Because it's true. The spirit he gave us is a source of power, just like we were talking about today. That spirit gives us power and we can help out God. Amen. Not superpowers, but powers to help God. Exactly. And with that, I think we should get to our prayer. Amen. All right. 30 seconds of prayer will start now.
Amen. Amen. That was a good prayer. Good prayers. You know what? I got I got to go return some stuff now. Now that I think about it. I return, gotta, put back in the dumpster. I got to go return the farm, the farm boy van, the van? farm boy merchandise, merchandise, the farm boy cinematic universe. I don't know what I'm gonna. Do How much that. did you spend? The farm boy domain for the online website. Oi. How am I gonna okay, do well, while we while we the figure this release. out, um, we'll see you next week. With the multiverse, uh, bye. What other? Oh my gosh, how much did I spend on? That?